While you may not want to put all your eggs in a basket, Trax Racer has a wonderful offer that may change your opinion. Find out more right here, right now. Welcome! You're watching Rum Rum, the channel sharing the joy of sim racing and our special videos from the Sim Formula Europe 24. Thanks to all those who come here often, especially those who subscribe, and even more, our patrons. My name is Serta, and I will be your host for this video. Track Racer were rightfully very proud to be able to show off their first complete racing system where everything you saw was designed and made by them. They showed very interesting and well thought out products with the unique engineering, which gave us here at Rom Rom a real hint of excitement at the time and has retained a lasting impression weeks later. It was amazing to see how much thought had gone into their products and how well they were tuned out of the box, as well as being able to adapt their hardware to your preference, as us sim racers are prone to being a little picky. From headphones to gloves to pedals, oh those pedals, to a monitor to, well, keep watching. On the way to becoming a one-stop shop for all our sim racing desires, Track Racer brought a D-shaped wheel which had seen the most rigorous of testing environments, real world racing, specifically National Rally in their professionally prepared BMW M3 E30. The design survived a whole season of 40 races on that car, which already says something about its sturdiness. Added to that one, they also brought a rally steering wheel, which they had in their rally rig with a sequential shifter and handbrake we'll talk about later in the video. A nice detail in this rig is that they avoided having stitches where you normally have your hands or gloves, thus avoiding wear and tear on both sides, your hands and the stitches. And yeah, those stitches can be unnerving when you are driving, even when you wear gloves. They are also working on releasing a formula style wheel, but they don't expect to have that one ready for market until the end of the year. Their bases are 15 Newton meter and 30 Newton meter torque direct drive wheel bases with the nice feature as the LEDs light up much like the new Acetec offerings covered at the Sim Racing Expo based on the RPMs of the car, but you can change that to give your proximity alert to another car or use flag colors, yellow, blue, etc. when the Sim shows you a flag. Or you can turn them off completely like I would seeing as I drive on VR. And all the software to control and set up your system was developed by Track Racer themselves, so not only do you get a whole system made by them, you can control all of it through one and the same software. Another thing they will be bringing out on the way to being a one-stop shop is a 49-inch ultra-wide monitor with a resolution of 2560 times 1080 pixels. They had a system on site with triples running EAWRC that Ike attested to his delight. The monitors had a nice and crispy image with good latency. Now, we weren't able to put any numbers to the feeling of the monitors, but they did their job properly for racing. Hopefully their price on release will be appropriate for the panel technology and they prove to be reliable. The same can be said about their own line of gaming headsets, which you of course also can use outside of gaming for listening to music while you do your daily pilates or on phone calls or whatever else you would use a headphone for. The design is not my thing, but headphones are not made for watching them, so at the end of the day it's only the sound that counts. As we didn't use the microphone, we cannot tell you how well it works. This seems to be the year of the glove, as Track Racer has also a line of gloves like Eau Rouge and GSI have. The designs of these gloves is more on the wacky side, with not only a Dia de los Muertos design, but also a moustache on them. You can sim race, think of your ancestors, and check how facial hair would look on you all in one go. Incredible versatility! The L 
large ones I tested were a tad small for my big hands, so if you also have big hands you may want to go for the XL size. They felt good and we loved the wackiness of the design. Of course, they had the rigs with them, and especially the TRX, the rig you see here. While the standard TRX you will find on their website is the Alpine version of the product, in its very distinct Alpine blue, they brought a white version to the SFE, adding that you can wish for any color combination and design you want and get it delivered in that specific design to your doorstep for a price of course, but you can get it painted exactly as you want it. The same applies for the seats and they are working on you being able to send the design you want on the seat and them implementing exactly that design. The pedals they brought to the Sim Formula Europe were prototypes as was the software. Quite advanced prototypes, you could say the last prototype before market, but still prototypes. We saw and felt how advanced they were on the expo and as if we expect they come out like we found them, the market is ripe for a shakedown. These are load cell pedals with springs to simulate the forces and a very easy way to set up the springs. As you can see, opening it up for change is done via a slot cap that not only allows you to change springs and telomeres, but also to adjust the angle easily. So easy that even I was able to do it on the fly. We don't know how durable it'll be over time, but it looked quite sturdy and we were impressed by how easy it was to change the spring settings. Of course, the brake pedal has interchangeable telomeres to help you get the brake pressure you prefer. You could say this is industry standard nowadays. And of course, you can adjust the bite point on the clutch. The pedals will come with a rumbler on each of them, seemingly also on the clutch, so you can simulate that very fine point where you know the clutch is about to engage but is not quite there yet, which is exactly the point you want to reach just before the lights go on. They did not have the rumblers on the SFE yet, so we cannot tell you how they feel. The handbrake uses the same slot cap and spring system as the pedals, which at the end of the day makes a lot of sense and it felt very good. A clever reuse of the already developed engineering. The pedals and most other periphery products will be released in Q2 by the way. The sequential shifter had an interesting feeling to it, a very special click that in informed you very well while driving that the gear had gone in. You can change the strength of the shifter easily via a knob on the driver facing side of it. Everything worked well together, especially in the rally rig they had on site where they had all of their gear plugged in. While we are critical of buying everything from one company, Track Racer may be the exception to a rule because everything felt so well together. We can't wait for these products to hit the market, you may be in for a treat.